I am from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. And welcome, welcome to, to our, our weekly Chica Chica. Chica. We finally got through that one. <laughs> well, it took us three takes this week. <laughs> <laughs> normally, it's only one take, right? Yeah, I know. Normally, we got that down pretty well. For some reason, we were just kind of dropping the ball horribly you on that were, one. Yeah. One of these days, I'm going to do a bunch of nothing but outtakes for what we go through before and after these. It's actually kind of cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, today, this week, there wasn't a whole lot of excitement. I think the most excitement was just before we started this, that we're having a little bit of a windstorm tonight. Yeah. Again, we do these on Sunday night, not Monday mornings. And Sunday night through Phoenix, there seems to be a windstorm, and... Monday morning is our normal trash day, and our recyclable container blew over, and of course, all the recyclables got just kind of blew out. So we just spent the past half hour picking up our trash from all over the neighborhood, it seems. Yeah. Because uh, during the week, I don't do a whole lot. I got a kind of boring life. Uh, I'll be honest with you on that one. I have and an easy life. I, again, that's part of why we do these is to kind of inform them what we've been doing and show that life in America isn't necessarily what a lot of Filipinos kind of seem to think it might be. Yeah. If like if you're a Filipino that works, of course, you work from normal typical like eight to five or sometimes over time. And then if you study like me, then yeah. You will have a really, really hectic schedule. Yeah. The, now there are some really there are some really cool times and events that we do get to do. Yeah, and I'm, now, I'm not saying it's completely boring here. Yeah, because yesterday we went to that five k superhero. We get the medal. Put on the cape, superhero run. That Cindy got to add to her medal collection, and there's actually a few runs that she just got the the, the runner match. tag from that. Like three of them or four of them, yeah. So there, there should be a few more as on here, but uh, and that was actually really cool that we went down and did that Saturday morning at Indi Steel Indian School Park. It yeah. is uh, in the U.S. Back in the day, the Native Americans were segregated and put into their own schools and taken off the reservations, and this is a. It's been turned into a city park, but it's where one of the Indian schools was, which hence the name Indian School Park. Uh, and again, it's something that I've been to a couple times. Uh, there's a museum out here called Herd Museum that we need to go to yeah. that I think you'd be interested in. And Cindy made comments that she'd kind of like to go back and check out a little bit more of the history of that park. Yeah. And... So we may get a, we'll make it. We'll definitely get a video on that one here. Maybe not this summer because it's starting to heat up pretty good and, and outdoor events are, are kind of beginning to curtail. Yeah. When it's 115 out, you don't want to be outside. <laughs> definitely not outside. Uh, although the Herd Museum is actually an indoor one, so we may do that one here in the near future. Yeah. But again, I think tickets for that are like 8 or 10 bucks a piece. That's not, yeah. We will expect it's USA. Yeah. Uh, and I, again, that, that that's part of the reason why we don't do a lot of this stuff is there's actually several museums out here that would be fun to go to, but they're anywhere from 7 to $20 per person to get in. Yeah. And we'd rather save the money to go to the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, there's a musical instrument museum out here. And I'm not sure what the admission cost on that one is. There's a Hall of Flame out here that's a firefighter's museum. Yeah. I'll have to dig up the costs and post them down here. <laughs> uh, the Phoenix Zoo is kind of expensive, but we have relented and done that one once or twice with family. Yeah, we went to Zoo Lights. We went to, have we ever been to the zoo? I did not remember. I don't think we have ever been to the zoo. Been, just went to the zoo. Yeah. And then what else? Uh, Desert Botanical Gardens is right next door to that. Yeah, we went to there. 
And you, me, and my nephew yeah. was like 75 bucks. Well, that's the reality. We cannot complain. We have a lot of opportunity here in the U.S. Eventually, and there is. There's a lot of opportunity, but there's also a reason why we're not going out and doing a lot of the fun stuff that a lot of people do. And there are, that we've got a friend of ours, uh, a couple, that they're not terribly interested in going back to the Philippines for whatever reason. And they do. They go out and do a lot more of this stuff than we do. Yeah. So a lot of it's just a matter of setting priorities and what you want to do. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we love eating. They don't. We, we love going out and eat out. That's for sure. Yeah. And eating out here is... It's expensive. So like Friday, we went to the fish fry. Saturday morning after um, the fun run, we went to Waffle House. And then evening, I, I went to the Filipino night out, just a dinner. We right. have fish, shrimp, and just a Filipino food. And you and Buddy, we went last night to Chili's. Right. And each, the Waffle House and... Uh, the other day, the other dinner out uh, at Fast Freddy, Fast Fast Eddie's, they were thirty bucks a piece. Yeah. And the dinner out with uh, Buddy, that was sixty five dollars. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's definitely a priority or a choice because like some people don't like to eat because they want to save that and go. Out. It, it definitely a priority. We yes. just tend to go out and eat out a lot, too. Definitely and, during our weekends, you know? Yeah, because part of that comes down to our schedules, too. That Because um, we could definitely choose not to. It's just, we just enjoy it, and it's just a, a, a fellowship, and just have fun, and you know, you know what I mean? Oh. So definitely it's a matter of priority and choices. And so, like I say, that we lead kind of a boring life because of a few of our choices. And that's fairly typical in, of life in the U.S., though, is that you do kind of choose what you want to do because money isn't as abundant as it is for some. And it's definitely not what everybody seems to think it might be. That's true. Yeah, that's true. And then what did they do today? We went to a church. We found a new Filipino church. Yeah. But that was actually way cool and a lot of fun. Yeah, I actually like it, so. But I think we may start going to there for. Yeah, from time to time. I like going there. I'll just not try, because um, with my studies, uh, it's definitely like from 10 to one thirty, so it's like three hours and a half, mm -hmm. you know, but I like it. I like the fellowship, everything, the overall, I just need to put time on, on, on it, you know, and try not to rush things. If you forget doing laundry, if you forgot doing few plans and what your meals for the week, definitely it's overwhelming on Sundays because you're doing it in one day. And it's a year resting. You just try to stress out, definitely, you know? So, like, sometimes it's, yeah, that's the reality here in, in the U.S. If you have, like, if you go out on weekends, you need to sacrifice a lot of things. I have studies, and then I enjoy it, but when I came back, I need to rush, I need to study and extend more time. And definitely, I have a pretty busy life. And he, it's his choice. So definitely, <laughs> cannot blame him. I'm just trying to balance life. Oh. Definitely. And sometimes I feel like, and I feel guilty, but that's life. <laughs> and the, yeah, the, right now a lot of my activity gets has gotten curtailed because of uh, disability issues, but. Uh, and again, like she says, a lot of it is my own choice that I don't go out and do the things I could do as often as I do that could make life a bit more interesting for me. But 
kind of like with the uh, what I opened up with at Indian School Park. Been there, done that. It, it, it's kind of interesting, but because you've been here for twenty. Yeah, years. that I've been that I've been in Phoenix for twenty six, twenty seven years now. Yeah. And so a lot of this stuff I've already seen and done, and definitely so. It, it's kind of hard for me to to drum up interest without somebody along that hasn't seen it or done it before. And so it makes it a little bit of a challenge for me to get out there and do some of that. Uh, and again, I just feel guilty about, you know, I, I would feel horribly guilty about going to a herd museum or something like that, spending the money without having Cindy along. And there's a pretty realistic chance her family may be coming out. Yeah. And if that happens, that at that point we may go out and start doing a lot more of the new things around here because to show them what Arizona's like. Yeah. Because it's new to them. Definitely. Right? Uh oh. But do we still have anything? I think that wraps up for this week. So, you ready? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mabuhai. Bye.